Hey, I'm Bibi Loam, and welcome to The Forgotten Picture Show, a new series which re-examines the lost classics from the last 100 years of cinema. The film we're about to see is a genre-defining picture from 1952, The Last Summer on Earth. I first saw this movie as a 12-year-old girl in the summer of 1981, whilst on holiday with my uncle Darius in Pittsburgh. Even then, I was struck by the brooding menace of the anti-hero Chico, played by the actor Rod Spitz. His intense gaze just leaped out of the screen at me, as did his metal hand. But you know, the standout performance in this movie comes from Victor Allen as the ginger goofball, in a role that introduced a new term to moviegoers, the geek. Although at the time, people just think of him as a nitwit. His subsequent career faltered until he resurfaced in the mid-80s in the Deadly Flesh films, a series of deeply erotic movies made for the Japanese market. Last Summer was written and directed by the glorious Mia Kaufman. She dared to reference the first use of the word dickwad in American cinema. Controversial on its release was a shot in which two members of Chico's gang appear to hold hands. A mistake? <laughs> That's for you to decide. In another scene, Kaufman's communist sympathies are subtly yet clearly revealed. Huge risk during the era of McCarthyism. See if you can spot it. I did. And finally, look out for another strange anomaly. The character referred to as Black Ralph was originally to be played by the actor John Duval. But two days before filming, on the insistence of the studio, he was replaced by a white actor. The tragic Brad Ripley, who died six months after filming in a very nasty water skiing accident. However, the character's name Black Ralph was not amended in the script. Another mistake? Or was this Mia's way of sticking two fingers up at the studio? Summer appeared four years before Rebel Without a Cause and, in my opinion, is a truer depiction of teenage angst in the 1950s. It has a soul and a heart, but above all, it's dangerous. And in 1952, dangerous was just plain dangerous. Here it is. The Last Summer on Earth. Yeah. Do you think he's got his underpants out of his crack yet? How did he get a date with a new girl? She must be a real free. Yeah. What kind of girl goes out with a nerd like that? The kind of girl who gets her hair stopped by a horse. Yeah. The kind of girl that gets her makeup done by a raccoon. <laughs> the kind of girl who, who borrows a handbag from an ape. <laughs> <laughs> She's never going to get a real guy looking like that. Yeah, I know. And that's enough about my agricultural pamphlets. <laughs> now on to my allergies. Okay, I have numerous skin conditions. Uh, number one, eczema. That's the worst. I get it very really badly on my arm. So, Is really... there anything to do around here at night? The church has a lot of midweek activities. Uh, we could go collecting for the poor. Or, uh, or Christian bowling. <laughs> or, or if you wanted to do something more relaxed, we could, we could go over to Black Ralph's house and play in his sister's paddling pool. What do other people do at night? Oh, they mainly go to the beach and make out. Great, let's go. <sighs> no, no, I can't. I gotta be home by nine. My dad thinks I'm in Bible school. Oh, that's too bad. 
I can't wait to see this town. All there was where I came from was two trees and a horse. My daddy was a farmer, but he wasn't very good at it, so he got killed. My mother and I came here. A new start, a new beginning, new people. I want to grab life with both hands and feel the wind in my hair and the rain on my knees. I want to drink bourbon, smoke a pipe, play tennis. I'm not a girl anymore. I'm a woman. Woman. So, anyway, do you want to see the skin on my arm? It's really, it's really itchy at the moment. Its scalp's got kind of infected. Look, look. Oh my god. Hey Vonda, sesame buns at nine o'clock. <gasps> wow, nice patootie! Patootie fruity! Tooty fruity booty looty wooty. Oh my god. You will never guess who's just pulled up outside. <gasps> I thought he was in jail. Looks like the sky is missing two stars tonight. <laughs> or the sea is missing two flatfish. <laughs> oh, Black Ralph. See, the diet's going well. Looks like the brewer is missing a barrel. <laughs> I'll take a beer. And I'm not talking about your piss. Thanks, Chico. This is on the house. I thought you were in jail. <gasps> no bars. Looks like tonight, the Iron Nest is missing a chick. <laughs> Looks like heaven's missing an angel. Excuse me, Mr. Chico. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Black Ralph. You burning some steaks or something? No, that was my forehead burning. Because you know I like mine rare. Like this creature. Well, I guess if I'm rare, that makes you well done. I've been on the grill for some time. I probably need flipping. I don't flip bad meat. No, you shouldn't. That's right. Because I had this steak last spring, and it was off. And I had such a runny wazoo. Honestly, it was like Niagara Falls. Who the hell's this dickwad? Oh, hi, Chico. Uh, remember me? Uh, I was in your class at junior high. Uh, you used to call me the ginger goofball. Oh, yeah. The goofball. The wedgie guy. Got your underpants out of your crack yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remembered. It's great to see you, Chico. I'll take a beer. Oh, sure thing. I'm two for these guys. Oh, okay. I want a slice of cheesecake. Get him a cheesecake. Oh, great. Might as well buy the whole diner a meal. I'll take a beer. I'll take a cheeseburger. Give me a I'll take a root beer. Big order. So that's 16 root beers, 64 wieners, and one giant blancmange. Oh, shucks. Hey, look on the bright side. At least you've got a hot chick. If I had a chick with fazangas like that, I'd have her over to my house and play my sister's paddling pool. I'd get the slide out and everything. Oh, I think I blew it, Black Ralph. I spilled a drink all over and then... I touched the front doors of the church. What? I touched the front doors of the church. What? That, that's terrible.
two blocks away. No, her front doors. Oh, her vagina! <laughs> Way to go, goofball. Second base. Oh, holy Mother Mary of Jesus, forgive Black Ralph for he does not know what he's saying. Uh, crashed my motorbike in the desert. I'm wondering. Why not? No, no, no. Three weeks. There. Got his uh, son been down on the shadows. A derrick refrigerator. I'm on around the hill. Next day, a cactus in the shape of a man's hand. I wanted to throw. Through the, the through my mind. The ghosts of my forefathers crowding in. And the man with no teeth. The, look at me. The rattlesnake. Making a pattern in the sand. The shape of Mickey Mouse's ears. And then I woke up! Son. Pops, what are you doing here? Mr. Cotton at the gas station said he saw you with some whore. Looks like evolution's missing a link. There's no such thing as evolution, you heathen. Whatever you say, Big Daddy. Just make sure you're respectful to the lady. Don't be respectful to the lady when she's respectful to Jesus. You people should worship the Lord, not the hamburger. I'll take my lord medium rare with relish. <laughs> what are you doing here, son? You're a disgrace. You want to end up like this jumped up hoodlum here with his loose tongue and his leather jacket? Come on, Marion. We're going home. But Pops, these are my friends. Friends? These beatnik lowlives who laugh at you because somehow you managed to wedgie yourself? <laughs> You won't have time for friends like these when you join the army, son. Yeah? Well, maybe he don't want to join the army. You thought about that? It's about time you old folks stopped preaching to us kids and started listening. Because we don't want to do what you want us to do. We want to do what we want to do and not what you want us to do, do. Yeah! yeah. Stop! You're tearing me apart! What? I didn't fight in the war so that you kids could sit around shaking milk! You see these arms? I use these arms to keep this country safe. You see this chest? Inside this chest burns the will of the Lord and the spirit of the Christian army against those who will take our liberty. People like him and him and him and him, and him, and him, and him! Shiny foreign bastard! Who let him in here? It's hot! Oh. 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 I'll teach you to mess with Uncle Sam! Looks like this diner's missing an urn. Come on, sweet cheeks. You've razzed my berries, now I want them juicing. What if I don't juice rotten fruit? Well, doll, this rotten fruit turns into wine. <sighs> sure, yeah, I'm waiting. Hey, buddy. What do you want to do about all this food? Do you want a hand eating it? Yeah. At least I'm not going to go hungry tonight. <sighs> I'm such a dickwad.